Hey guys, it's Alex from AutoX. And today we have a 1991 Toyota Light Ace Truck Compo Fiberglass Camper. It's got a 2C diesel engine, it's a 2 liter. It's got 81,000 original miles on the clock. And this is a pretty neat rig. Uh, I haven't really seen one quite like this yet. And I'm um, surprised by its versatility and unique character. So as you can see, it's been coated along the rockers and the bumper with a heavy duty inner thane material. Now this is similar to the material that is used to coat truck beds. This was professionally done to a very high quality standard of work. And I believe it suits the vehicle well. I'll give you a view of 360. Now they made a few varieties of these campers off of the Light Ace and Town Ace truck chassis. We've had one different variety, uh, but this is the first of this kind. So I'll give you a quick look inside the front. So the upholstery is vinyl, heavy duty, brand new. In the center here you have a third seat on the bench, or alternatively you have a cup holder and an area to put your, your stuff. So as you can see, the door cards are all in good condition. The dash does not have any cracks. You've got one of these characteristic Japanese cup holders. So why don't we go around and fire up the engine so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Got a brush guard down there. Now this one, you may be wondering where's the shifter, or hey it's an automatic because the shifter's right here on the tree. Well this is actually a 5 speed on the tree, which is cool. Most of these truck chassis have this set up from Japan. So let's start it up. give you an outside audio of the engine which lives under the passenger seat
so what I'm going to do now is turn off the engine and we'll show you guys inside the back. So the cool thing about this one, it has these gaping huge windows which really uh, give a great visual from uh, the inside. So as you can see, we've got a heavy duty enamel painted floor. All of the kicks have been coated in diamond plate to ensure durability and maintain the heavy duty use of this vehicle, assuming it's going to be used for off-roading. And here you have your dinette with your table, of course, which pops right out for stowaway purposes. You have your seat. Curtains all around, which are in very nice shape. Very nice curtains, actually. So you can cordon off all the windows and areas for completely private sleeping experience. Now you have this sofa bed, and underneath here, there are bed platforms, which rest upon rails, which go into here, and into here. So a rail will go along here, another rail will go along here. I'll show you guys this setup. It's really cool. This whole area converts into another bed. So you have an entire sleeping space here and potentially an entire sleeping space above. Here's the bed in the folded out configuration. As you can see, all of the pillows, um, cushions fit into the slats and uh, make a very big bed. Um, and then you have these two rails which uh, very easily come out. And then there's a bunk bed which goes on top. And I'll show you that right now. Full top and full bottom. Now these are two huge beds. Easily, I believe, queen, maybe king size. And all these four boards are stored underneath here. Now you could definitely just use two or one. You know, a small child could sleep on one of these, one guest for two. It's very modular and it's pretty cool. It's not something I've really ever seen in another camper. On the roof, you have a fantastic vent fan 4000, which has three speeds and it's two direction. You have storage cabinets all along the sides up here are your controls for all of your power so you would essentially switch on you have your battery monitors and then we can turn everything on. Here is your vents for your rear heat slash AC. This has a diesel heater equipped, which lives underneath this seat. Simple to just remove these. It's got a shore power hookup. It has an angle 12 volt fridge. We have additional storage above kitchen. We have a sink. Your water pump switch is right here. As you can hear, however, there is no water in the tanks. We have a hot water and a cold water tank. The hot water tank is heated by the radiator. More storage. 
These cabinets are scuffed a bit from use. It could be repainted or left as is, completely functional as is. In here, we have a shower. It also comes with a dome light and vent fan, which you can hear has just kicked on. So your shower, it is right there. Of course, a curtain and a towel rack. I'll demonstrate use of the vent fan now, so we can open the hatch. We can turn it into one direction. It's actually quite powerful. These are amazing. They will suck air in or blow air out to Keep the cabin uh, to your appropriate temperature. Lights here. An additional light here. The bulb needs to be replaced in that one. Now for all you retro junkies out there, I'm sure you noticed this TV, which, uh, which works. Once I find the power button, ah, oh, there it is. So if any of you guys still have VHSs, or you want to hook up the old N64 or Nintendo, you can certainly rock out in here and uh, enjoy this. All right, let's power down. All these switches are accessible from the cab, which is cool. So you can pretend you're an airline pilot. Below this, we have your power inverter and your auxiliary battery. This, this cable is used to hook up outside to plug into shore power. Now this runs on 100 volt as opposed to 110, but it's basically the same thing. Just mind yourself with uh, heavier duty appliances. All the windows are vented and screened. So this is a 4x4 four four with a transfer case and manually locking hubs. All right, let's hop out. So there are two fill points for your potable water. This would fill the left side tank, which is hot and heated when you run the engine. And on the other side, we have the tank for the water that is not heated by the engine. And here is where you would hook up for your short power. And here's the tank. So here's your auto locking hubs. Sorry, those are manual, not auto. Manuals always prefer it as they're heavier duty. The auto ones are prone to failure and breaking, so it's always good to see the big boy ones. Anyways guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned to our channel for more cool rides. This camper is newly for sale out in Portland, Oregon. 
feel free to uh, check out our website or contact us if you have any interest. Thanks again for watching and catch you later.